or a barbecue sauce? My barbecue sauce. Haven't you ever noticed after people have some of my barbecue sauce, after a while when it kicks in, they get all huggy buggy? Stop. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Haven't you ever noticed that after one of my barbecues and they have the sauce, people want to get right home? Let me tell you something else. I got a cup of it up on the night table there. I got a cup of it, I said. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and we're going to start the day with a spicy topic I'm sure that YouTube will love. Uh, and because of that, all I will do is uh, remind you to enjoy the video, and if you do, leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. There's a red subscribe button down below the video. I do five or six videos a day, uh, and it'll help you at least see what I've got going on. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that if you enjoy the coverage. Well, uh, zip zap do zap bibbidi bop. Bill Cosby's a free man. I I I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, I uh, you know, I just watched his lawyer, one of his lawyers, uh, talk about how this was an amazing day for black men in America, and he invoked slavery and all this other just ridiculous stuff that has nothing to do with the case. You know, quite frankly, why, you might be asking yourself, why? Why on God's green earth was he released? Well, the, the fact of the matter is, there actually was a deal in place that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court uh, just enforced today. Um, they said that former district attorney Kevin Steele, who made the decision, by the way, at the time to um, lock up Bill, was obligated to stand by his predecessor's promise to not charge him. There is no evidence that that promise was ever put in writing. So at somehow, some way, this pros former prosecutor had made what can only be described as the most ridiculous sweetheart deal in history. Um, was the guy paid off? Well, I have no evidence of that. I don't know why a district attorney would agree to when you have like a uh, half of a hundred women lined up, uh, what DA on God's green earth with any decent set of moral or ethics would say, yeah, you know, we could probably just give you a deal where we guarantee you immunity if you just, you know, speak about this stuff. Um, but then again, we saw that with your boy Jeffrey, who had multiple friendly DAs and sweetheart deals from the FBI that nobody really ever understood. Um, and the court has now said that overturning the conviction will also bar any future prosecution, meaning that Mr. Bill is a free man and will never be able to face charges on this stuff again. Um, I, I just, it's shocking. Um, when you go through the list of the women, you look at the pictures. I mean, there is no doubt in my mind that he did this stuff. Uh, there's just no doubt. Um, it, it's, it's weird. Like I don't, you, you wonder why you wonder why somebody who could probably get anyone they wanted. I mean, this dude was the most popular man in the world for 30 years. Um, but you know, you can look at, um, their NFL players, former NFL player, uh, green Bay Packer, Darren Sharper did the same thing. That guy could have walked into any pub in this state and, and take, you know, and went home with somebody every night, but he just, I don't know, he chose that he, he wanted to go Bill's route. 
I, I think it's also important that we, at least, you know, as ridiculous as it is, if this deal was in place, then they have to honor it. Um, I don't know. I, I assume that former district attorney uh, should be investigated. I want to know why they were allowed to make this kind of deal uh, in the first place. Perhaps that DA would reconsider things if they were the one doing the time. I, you know, was this guy? I mean, I, I don't understand it. I, I, it's so bizarre to me. Um, this just shows that the, uh, you know, the kind of the Me Too era was a joke. It never got any real justice. Um, sure, you got Harvey. That was it. And, um, you know, you ruined, you know, three dozen other men's lives who really were falsely accused. So, I mean, what was it all about? I don't know. Running a few undesirables out of town. Um, you know, some of the, the reaction to this is absolutely hilarious. Uh, if you look at, of course, like... You know, Tariq Nasheed uh, posting, you know, that uh, <laughs> this was a great day uh, because all these women came forward and, um, you know, and, and with race in their heart. And that's why they told this story. You can see, of course, Tariq Bill is being released because the white supremacist culture of white women falsely claiming black men do this thing is a travesty. Well, if we look at the the women that you know, put their names on this. Uh, they're not all white from what I can tell. Now the picture's in black and white, but I can see at least a half a dozen black women on this list. Um, maybe more again, it's difficult to, I'm kind of just going by the hair, but, um, so no Tariq. Oh, you got one, two, three, probably four, five. Is that a dude? Six. Seven. I mean, no, it wasn't w only white women. Um, you know, and unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, what's going to happen from this is it's going to discourage um, anyone from coming forward. Look, I don't think that there's anybody who in good faith would argue that they think this man is innocent unless they're completely delusional. Um, that said... What I would hope this serves as, um, perhaps, <laughs> I don't know. I, it's just such a dis, just a disheartening mess. I, I can't imagine what it's like for these fifty or so women um, and their families and the countless other women out there that didn't step forward clearly. Um, you know, maybe don't wait twenty years to bring it up. I, I guess. But that that like blames them for that, which isn't fair either. Um, this I'm always suspect of these situations where suddenly there's 50, you know, 20 people who suddenly remembered something that happened 15, 20 years ago. We saw this happen with Bla that Blase Ford or whatever her name was. Um, suddenly she remembers uh, this one night 40 years ago in college because it's politically expedient to try and um, smear a. Uh, what was it, Brett Kavanaugh, I think, at the time. Uh, and then she ran a GoFundMe and raised like a million bucks too. So, you know, does that, auto, you know, do those two details mean that it didn't happen? No, but I'm saying it's sus. It's a little sus if uh, you have people coming forward 25 years later when it's, you know, expedient to them. But... I mean, it, I think it would be very difficult to make the case. How many are in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 35 women came forward. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what they had to gain from this. Um, were they paid off? Did they receive money? I doubt it. Maybe some of them did. Um, but what I mean, it's hilarious when you listen to his lawyer. Talk about how, you know, um, you know, that this was now there was never any evidence, and that this was, goes back to slavery, and this is a huge win for black men, bro. Like, do you think OJ is innocent too? Uh, was OJ beating those charges a big win for black men too? Um, this is, if anything, is true. 
if anything is true about this, it's that privilege exists for the wealthy. I think that is an inarguable fact uh, when you talk about the criminal justice system. There are, uh, you know, innumerable people that get away with terrible things when they have the money and the connections to do so. Justice is supposed to be blind, but it just isn't. I, you know, I want to know everything about that DA that gave uh, Bill this ridiculous deal that uh, guaranteed him no charges. I want to know about, um, you know, if money was exchanged there. There's corruption from the top to the bottom, in my opinion. If you have 36 people coming forward and then you're like, yo, if you just, you know, kind of admit to some things, then, uh, you know, we're not going to charge you. Now, if that deal was in place, then, yep, you got to release him. That doesn't mean you can't investigate literally everyone else uh, involved with this. What a what a ridiculous story to start the day with. I'm going to have at least four more videos for you. Plus, I'll be live streaming tonight around 6.30 p.m. Central. I'd love to see you there. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.